I told you they write all their own jokes, right? <laughs> Coming to the stage, please welcome our next performer, Layla Dean. People always ask me what type of brown I am. They look at me like I'm the 7-Eleven kind. I resent that. I'm the 9-Eleven kind. <laughs> I tend to blow things out of proportion. I overreact, especially when I have to deal with racism. Man, I just hate racists, you know? There's just something about the way they look that's inferior to the way that I look. I just feel like I'm better than them, you know? I think I figured out a way to end racism, though. Yeah. Instead of hating people for what they look like, hate people because they're all fucking assholes. <laughs> so, I went to a funeral recently, and uh, funerals are really hard, you know, because you finally got your family together under the same roof, but you had to die to make it happen. Um, I've heard recently that um, some women have oddly had orgasms by caressing their eyebrow. What's next? Are we gonna come for real during sex? That'd be nice. <laughs> So I work in tech, and uh, people in tech love to say that there are a lot of moving parts and pieces, which I think translates to, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, so I was thinking to myself the other day, what if no one walked slow? Would the world be a better place? Would racism be a thing of the past, and would countries no longer go to war? So, I coughed the other day, and I never saw a crowd so quickly divide in half. <laughs> I felt like Moses parting the Red Sea. So, I hate it when people tell me I look tired, even after I've made an effort to look awake. <laughs> I drank coffee, I applied concealer, and I snorted cocaine off my boyfriend's ass. What more do you want? So, I hate wearing bras, okay? I hate it. I fucking hate it. And every time I reach back to take it off, it feels like I'm trying to escape my own kidnapping. And the cups are sized the same, but our tits, are, our tits aren't, so it ends up looking like you have a botched boob job. You know what I'd like to wear instead of cups? Hands. <laughs> This way, I can feel around for lumps, and I can give myself a lift at the same time. <laughs> so, I wanna, you know, take a moment to raise awareness about this serious condition I have. You know, it's, it's genetic. My mom has it, my sister has it. It's called RBF, resting bitch face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I found a cure for it, though. Uh, I recently started taking these comedy classes. Some of you might know of it. <laughs> and, and I think it's uh, revived uh, the funny in me. Yeah. So. <laughs> so a penis museum was erected in Iceland recently. It has the world's first dick pic carved on stone by cave bros around two million years ago. Can you imagine how they sent that picture? Did they just drop it in front of a woman while she was eating? Or did they roll it into the cave at night as she was getting into bed? Recently, the museum has come under fire because of lack of diversity in the dicks on display. Yeah. They even hired a diversity dick officer to make sure that penises of all shapes, colors, and sizes are represented. <laughs> it's funny that they managed to build this museum in Iceland, of all places. I didn't think they could get it up in the cold. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs> Here's your note.
Give it up for Layla Dean, everybody. Her sister was enjoying that show until she found out that she had RBF. She was like, what? What? Lucky mom's not here, hey? 